Hi everybody and welcome back on my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I asked you on Instagram for some questions, everything from Q&A to unpleasant questions that you want me to answer and I'm gonna be answering them for you right now. Ah. Jeez, sorry. Oh. Guys, I just noticed. After filming this for 30 minutes, <laughs> that I have all of my stream thingies on all my sponsors and everything so I'm super sorry I'm not sure if I can edit it out I feel like if I zoom in everything is cut off and it looks weird so I'm sorry for this I'm a pleb I forgot to take it out um, in case you're wondering why it looks so fancy behind me I had today my eight year anniversary on twitch and um, yeah now I'm sitting here filming the questions for you so I have the questions from Instagram right here and um, I'm also gonna write them or put them somewhere here um, in the frame for you um, so I'm not gonna be answering all of them because this would uh, be a little bit too much for one video but I will answer the ones where I think they're gonna be the most interesting for you guys so let's start the first question is a pretty juicy one and it's one that came up a lot actually um and it's all about only fans is it it's julia will you make only fans have you thought about doing an only fans or what are your thoughts on only fans will i make one as of right now i don't think I'm gonna make an OnlyFans. It's not nothing really that I would personally want to do. And um, I don't know, but I don't want to speak for me in the future. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have an OnlyFans at any time um, soon or ever even. Um, what are my thoughts on OnlyFans? That's also a question I get asked often. Like, Julia, what do you think about that person um, doing, doing OnlyFans? Yada, yada, yada. Oh, we have a cat coming in. Sir, please trying to record a video and then there's another question that i get often uh, asked is uh what are you thinking about this or that person doing only fans um to be honest i think it's cool like i'm empowering everybody willing to post stuff like that um online i think it's everybody's own decision how much of their selves and their bodies and their sexuality they want to share um so i think it's cool and i support everybody that does it my way of thinking is always do whatever you want as long as it doesn't harm anybody else so if you're confident in your body and you want to share it and people want to see it why the hell would you not do it so you do you let's see what is the next question would you rather be blind or would you rather be deaf hmm that's a good question. I think I would rather be deaf. Not hearing stuff, for sure annoying, but I feel like you can still do more things while being deaf compared to while you're being blind. Yeah, that was a fast one. Do you parler français? Oui, je parle un petit peu de français, mais mon français c'est très merdique. Um, so yeah, I had French for four years in school I think or almost five um, but to be honest I'm not fluent at all I know a few phrases you know here and there I, I do understand a lot of French uh, but again I'm not fluent I can't really speak it by it but I do understand it a lot um, next question my favorite moment with Nathan oof that's a hard one I think my favorite moment with Nathan was when he surprised me with our dog Mira. Like I got, he gifted me Mira or he surprised me. I always wanted to have a dog. Um, we were actually um, going on walks with and with dogs from the animal shelter. Like there's something like you can help out the animal shelter uh, not only by donating food or money, but you can also help them walk the dogs there. And uh, we did that a couple of times and we there saw Mira. We never were able to walk with her. Um, but I really liked her and I was always telling Nathan, oh, please, can we adopt her? I would really like to have her. And Nathan always said no, that we don't have the time for a dog. And then at one day he just came home. Um, I was streaming and he told me that he would get a friend of us uh, that comes over to visit us. Um, and he came home and he was like, can you please come downstairs? Um, our friend Nicholas is here. He wants to say hi to you. And I was like, I'm streaming. I'm going to come down later. And he's like, no, please come down now. And then I came downstairs in the garden and um, there's a little puppy waiting for me. Um, I think I still have a video. I can like put it maybe somewhere here. Um, and was literally like 
the cutest thing that somebody ever did for me and obviously we have Mira now I think for five years so it was also one of my favorite moments and one of the most happiest moments of my life iced tea peach or lemon there's only one right answer and that is peach peach iced tea no lemon iced tea only peach so then another really interesting question have you ever thought about stopping streaming and going back to usual a uh, job if yes when and why uh, sorry uh, so yeah i thought about it a few years ago um i'm not quite sure in which year it was probably something like something between 2016 2018 um it was when my my numbers my viewer numbers went down very very drastically um i felt like nothing that i did was was good or interesting nobody was interested in what i was doing anymore i felt like no matter what i did was wrong for the people that don't know i used to be pretty successful in streaming um league of legends then i switched to cs got kind of successful there again and then um, i got kind of bored with content creation and i decided that i wanted to go professional um, in counter-strike so i started playing professional uh, female counter-strike and i really focused on getting better and was practicing with my team like four days a week five days a week next to streaming i started practicing on stream with my team so basically I, I focused my whole existence just on on playing because I wanted to prove myself that I can become very, very good at this. For that, I didn't really care what consequences it would have to my stream. And obviously my content, the quality of my content, it was basically just tryharding in CS and that was... Uh, completely different to what, uh, what I did before like I'm obviously an entertainer I'm not really a shroud or something I'm not a person that you would watch for skill in a video game so my my whole content shifted from being fun into being super try hard and um, I didn't put a lot of thought into what I was doing and I was just focusing on one thing and it almost cost me my career and it took me I think two, year, two years to realize that was the wrong way to go and yeah it almost killed my stream I was down on very very low viewer numbers nothing I was doing was working out anymore and I felt like I was unwanted and nobody wanted to watch my stream anymore that was a time where I was really thinking about just quitting and going back to a normal job deleting all my social medias and uh disappear and hide because i was so ashamed that i failed that i literally ran my career into the ground what would i have done if i would have stopped um i don't know to be honest i would have probably just went back and got whatever job i would have gotten as fast as possible like i used to work in the purchasing department of a huge automotive firm i could have basically gone back into like a normal desk job like an office job i was also something like a secretary um i have an education as a tailor i would have probably long-term aimed to do something creative or even being like something like an agent or a manager in a gaming scene like that's something that would really interest me to to help younger creators learn about their value help them find fair contracts with sponsors so something around that line um because i was so ashamed at that point i'm not sure if i would have gone into the gaming route because i feel like i was so embarrassed of that i felt that i just wanted to disappear out of the scene completely now if i would ever stop that would be something that i would want to do yeah in the end i didn't quit i started working on myself i started uh, working on my content and now i'm at this place again where i'm super happy with my content where i'm super happy with my stream also with the content that i'm putting out here on youtube and i hope that you're enjoying it too so let's move on to the next question, uh, as I already said, there are also unpleasant questions in here. At least I gave you the option to leave unpleasant question that you don't want to answer. A question was also, what size are those boobies? A big B to a small C. Then I got a question. If a shark and a bear would fight together, who would win and why? I feel like if they would fight, they would fight in the water because obviously a shark would not be able to fight on land so i feel like the shark would have to win as you don't know if you don't know i also speak german so here's a german question aus welchem deutschsprachigen land kommst du denn ich kann den dialekt nicht einordnen ah uh, ich bin aus österreich ich bin österreicherin ich komme aus klagenfurt also 
österreichischer Akzent. Where did your passion for cooking come from? Um, to be honest, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I want to say from my grandma. So my mom wasn't really that much into cooking like she was cooking but she was not really passionate for it but my grandma my grandma oh, she made the best food my favorite food as a kid was schnitzel so wiener schnitzel and um for my birthday she would always make a schnitzel that is big that is as big as a steering wheel so she would sew together uh, pieces of meat and then fry it in a huge pan and and made that for my birthday and she would make like those austrian dumplings she was just so passionate about food and i feel like it was her way showing the family that she cares and that she loves them so she loved to host and invite people over and make the biggest and best meals ever and like for example um if she would make pasta but she would see that I'm not enjoying it then she would ask me would you rather have something else and I would say like I still a kid yeah I would have to I would want a schnitzel she would make me a schnitzel you know what I mean like she if she would have 10 people she would even cook like three different dishes so everybody is happy that was the point where I felt so so loved that I got that same passion so for me it's now the same like I love hosting I love inviting people I love cooking for people I love seeing when people love my dishes like when I cook something or when I bake something and i see somebody eat it and the people are like enjoying it and even asking for another piece or another plate another per portion that is for me oh that is the best feeling for me so i would think i got that from my grandma yeah then i got another question do you ever get tired or bored of streaming um to be honest no i don't think so uh the thing about streaming is that you can always evolve like streaming is not only gaming anymore like first of all even if you just stay within the realm of gaming there's so many different genre of games so many you can play old games you can play new games you can play multiplayer you can play story games so there's such a huge variety of games that if you get sick and tired of the one you just switch so it's the same with me like i was i loved league of legends then I switched from league to counter strike then from counter strike to valorant now from valorant to kind of variety um so you're evolving in this field of gaming anyway so i honestly did never get bored and especially now um <laughs> hi blinky what's up N nowadays it's not only gaming on twitch right so i do once a week i do cooking streams um you can do irl streams you can do just chatting like i feel like there's so much variety that you can do on a platform that i honestly don't get bored of it why start streaming? Um, for the people that don't know, I started streaming in 2013. For me, the reason why I started streaming was um, that I didn't have enough people to play video games with. Back in the day, was Phantom Lord was like the, the one streamer that I watched literally every day. Um, and I was like, you know what? I could just start streaming myself and find people that would play League of Legends with me. And uh, so one day I just started. Um, back in the day, it was really hard to even earn money with streaming, especially if you would not be one of the top streamers. So for me, it was never the thought of, I don't know, I'm going to start streaming and become famous and super rich. And I don't know, like it was never that for me. It was just like, I come from a from a town in Austria, like, I didn't want to say a small town, we have 100,000 people that live here, but in my whole real life friend circle, there are not really many gamers, and so I just wanted to have more friends that have the same hobby as me. It worked! Now I have so, so many friends that are gamers, that are that I got to know all over the world and we're such good friends. I got to know so many people. I made so many friendships that will hopefully last a lifetime over Twitch and I'm more than thankful. And that for eight years, so crazy. And I'm, I, I would never do anything different. Uh, then we got another question, a really, uh, a, a topic that is in everybody's mouth right now, which is honest thoughts of hot tub streams. To be clear, not at all asking you to do them. Um, what are my thoughts on that topic? To be honest, I don't know if you saw it, Twitch even has their own category now, beaches and hot tubs and stuff like that. Uh, to be honest, I don't blame or I would never talk bad about the girls or the boys or the people that abuse that gray area in the TOS that you kind of can do something sexual. Um, out of that because obviously we all know this gray zone is being heavily abused into sexualizing certain content um 
but I would never blame the people that uh, that abuse the gray zone. Like they're being smart. They're making a lot of no money. Like if you look at all of those um, girls that are making thousands of euros just because they're sitting in a little pool for five to I don't know ten hours a day, getting freaking wrinkly feet. <laughs> but making shit tons of money i mean they're being smart uh, they, you also have to think about like they get a lot of backlash they get a lot of um negative feedback and it's not only just the money that they get they also get a certain reputation that you will never ever be able to get rid of ever again um so i think i i personally i i respect their decision like i mean they have their consequences through doing that good ones and bad ones um the people that i'm personally mad of is twitch or mad at least i don't agree with that like for me the point is still it is a platform that is literally for children that are 13 year old like you can watch every stream on there when you're 13 and if i would have a 13 year old child would i want them to watch amaranth riding a banana in a hot tub bending over for every stream, showing her booty. No, I would definitely not want that. Um, I understand it's a great zone. I don't understand why they didn't fix the TOS in a direction or just be a little bit more strict with the rules, uh, banning and warning system. Um, so I, I'm personally just disappointed in Twitch and not in the people that do it. Um, I'm going to do one last question and uh, then we're going to see maybe we got a good one. Okay, I got I got a choosy one. I got a good one for the last. Um, from a one to ten, how happy are you with your body at the moment? If you could ch change anything, what would it be? So, for the people that follow me for a long time, know that I'm struggling with my weight since I'm a teenager. Like I've always, I'm gaining like. 10 15 kilos then i'm losing it again like i'm never getting like super super huge but let's say i i always range something from so for the people that don't know i'm i'm super open with that like i really don't care don't feel like oh julia you don't have to uh tell us how tall you are how much you weigh like i really don't care about that stuff like i'm i'm super open to talk about that stuff so for the people that don't know i'm 162 and i usually range between um like 65 to 85 kilos like in, in in that range and for me the thing is whenever i'm stressed or when i'm so if i have a lot of work stress or um whenever i'm mentally not doing good so it's one of the two i usually tend to eat so for me food is comfort so whenever i feel uncomfortable i feel anxiety i feel stressed i feel sad that's when i eat to make me feel better the problem is when i eat a lot i get bigger and then i get more insecure and i get more anxiety for example to meet people in real life um because i'm really aware that on social media i look way different than i look in person so that gives me more anxiety so it's like this this never ending cycle and then i always break out um i diet for a few months i do a lot of sport then i go down again to like i don't know 68 kilos and i'm super happy and super confident and then over months i gain it back again um so that's a little bit the, the background um at the moment i would say i'm probably a six or seven out of ten with my body like i'm not um unhappy like i have to say like i'm a really confident person like most people know uh, i obviously i'm i'm insecure about my weight but in general like i love my body i love my hair i love my face um i love my body i like my body more when i'm a little bit lighter I'm not talking about being 45 kilos like i'm a person i will never have 45 kilos like i'm probably the most confident if i have 65 kilos i feel like a queen i walk around and nobody can do anything and when i'm at my 80 kilos i'm like a little insecure plop plop that's always sitting here covering her tummy and stuff right now i would give it a six or seven because i gained a little bit of weight again i'm probably like i don't even know i haven't really the thing is i gained some some weight again and i'm I don't really want to step on the scale right now, to be honest. But if I would have to guess, I'm probably like at 73, 74 kilos right now. Um, and, but the thing is, as soon as I'm at 70 again, I have like this 
confidence again um so it's actually not too bad i'm feeling confident but i definitely want to um lose a little bit of weight again but that's just a struggle in my life that i'm always gonna have so it's always gonna be an up and down but in general i'm very very happy so anyway i think this is gonna be enough for now otherwise the video is gonna be way too long um if you like this kind of video please let me know um in the comments down below um what do you think about it if you want to have more if you want we can do a youtube version out of this so the next faq video i'm gonna take questions from the comments down below here feel free to leave them um as usual don't forget to follow leave a like if you want to not miss any video turn on the little notification bell and um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video and i'm gonna see you in the next one uh, uh, uh.